bit about our day. We have a very exciting day today. We're going to the Rockingham Public Library. It started with one of our former interns, a kindergarten teacher in School District 60, and she was unable to secure the funding to bring her class on a field trip. There is no budget for field trips. Our district was able at one time to support one field trip per classroom, but through the years it has dissolved because of economics. So Elizabeth sort of was thinking about that and ran with it and was able to get funding to allow for us to hire a bus company to bring kids to the library. And the idea of that uh, grew into the formation of this Bus to Us program. With you know various types of jobs, and we do have a single parent population, sometimes it's difficult for parents to get their children to the library. So this is a phenomenal resource. This was just a few short years ago, the previous superintendent was ready to eliminate all the libraries they had in all the elementary schools and put books in hallways. They save their libraries, but for how long, we're not really sure. So anything the public library can do to the Waukegan Public Schools and help them out is why we're here. Good morning, everyone. This was out of the comfort zone for our librarians to actually create curriculum and give it out to the children. And they really rose the occasion. I think they were really nervous for the first one, but they get so much energy from the children and it's so rewarding that it went so well. And I think this exhibit will bring over a thousand children to the library. Are these the kind of rocks that you're going to find in your backyard? No. 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 The water is what made these nice and smooth. They churned them. What works very well is the interactivity, the hands-on that the kids are able to do. The philosophy of getting kids to the library, to getting kids to a so-called third place homeschool library is very important. There's a lot more things here than just books. How many of you have a library card? The energy of the kids is just absolutely wonderful. They're excited. They're excited to show what they know. I talked about library cards. I talked about library programs. I invited them to bring the whole family, explain to them we do have programs just for specific age groups. Can you please take some of our pollution and pour it on the top of this? I did the Enviroscape, and so Patrick and I both do um, small groups Groups and we talk about the watershed and we explain what it does and then we have the kids actually like do the experiments with the board and things like that. So. Would you want to eat fish that are in this like uh, No! And the teachers love doing it as well so they get all excited about it. So A lot of our students English isn't their first language and so some of those more hands-on modeling is really helpful for them in terms of understanding. But we are going to make a rain. This is our rain machine. Okay? It's really cool. I feel like I'm just one of the kids. Making them a part of it just, you know, enhances the experience. You know, I wanted to grab one too and, you know, go ahead and pollute the water. <laughs> uh, did you guys have a good time? Yeah. Um, my favorite part is to talk about lakes, like in Lake Michigan. I would like to see more about the, the models. I'm talking about what they found in the ocean and in the lake. Okay. We look for independent funding outside our tax dollars to make these things happen. I look to foundations, I look for grants, I look for individual donors. The ones that give to us believe in us and they believe we're making a difference. I like what I saw the jellyfish. I loved everything. I want to come back. Bye-bye. <laughs>